Hello friends, uh, Jeff here from Squadron. Look what I have here, an OS2U Kingfisher. Now, the Kingfisher has been overlooked by many manufacturers over the years, uh, especially in this scale. So finally, Kitty Hawk had the luminous idea to do one, and here it is. Now this is uh, already becoming very popular, these kits flying off the shelf, and the reason uh, I'm able to do this. There was one damaged. It gave me the opportunity to look and see what's inside. So I want to share this with you. So, okay. Uh, again, the custom to Kitty Hawk. It's a fabulous artwork. I don't need even to make any mention of it. It's just fantastically rendered. By opening the box, immediately what pops up is this little cardboard container. And I assume that clear parts are in there. Yes, indeed. We got nice, crisp plastic parts you can build it in the open or closed position this is a nice asset uh, and a nice little gem to have so it won't get scratched or dent or broken now we have the instruction sheet we have about one, two, three, four, uh, about five plastic screws and from what I can tell it is extremely extremely detailed I can see here the engine is really well done also the cockpit there's lots of detail I don't even think it asks for anything more you can basically build it straight out of the box and you don't need to add anything nicely engraved panel lines as we come to uh, know from Kitty Hawk and it doesn't seem all that complicated anyway but uh, still it's the cockpit seems state of the art so that's very well done here we got the floats we got we got wheels we got two sets of wheels and they look like they're bolts so you can either put it on a water line or you can put it on its wheels so you got this option now <clears throat> I want to say something special about their instruction sheet the instruction sheets are first of all very well done a very nice paper but it's also very colorful. As you can tell, you have the option of doing six versions. You, you have a few American versions, but also there is one option to do a Russian version and a British version. As you can see, the decal sheet is, uh, as you can tell, it's uh, very large, I mean, very colorful, high quality, and they also gave you uh, a small sheet of decals for the instrument panel. Another thing I found is there's a, a small thread of photo etch with some cockpit detail as far as the belts and buckles and some, some levers, some switches. So it's a nice little asset to the whole kit. So far, the aftermarket, to my knowledge, didn't release any, um, any resin pieces or any extra photo etch, but I'm sure there will be. But like I mentioned before in this, in this little uh, review, there is technically no need the kit is so well engineered that it hardly doesn't need any more detail. To get one of these, uh, go to our website at squadron.com or click on the link. This was it for now guys, Jeff Fee here signing off.